there was a big problem with the ambulance. We tried to get the ambulance, but uh, waiting for one hour, two hour, but nobody was coming. Then we tried to find a truck, but the truck driver refused to go inside. He said, there's a lot of water, you cannot go because the truck is also have some limit, uh, you know, to go inside. Unfortunate as it is, the loss of any life, more than a dozen lives were lost in this unfortunate uh, rain and flood in Chennai that came because of that cyclone. I mean, a lot of floods and uh, the rains, something that has uh, made uh, headlines for all the wrong reasons. We have seen the smart city of Chennai getting drowned once again, be it 2021, be it 2022. And now, again, 2023, the situation was no different. Uh, the cyclone, Michang, that came and then passed by, uh, wreaking havoc on uh, the southern part of the country, India, is uh, something that has also brought a lot of sordid, sad tales from the state. One of uh, the residents of Chennai, who hails from Jammu and Kashmir, but has been living in Chennai for the last three decades, Parvez Khan joins us today. Parvez Bhai is a friend to one of uh, the families who have uh, lost, unfortunately, one of the family members. Parvez Bhai, uh, we are there with you in this uh, uh, moment of grief and our condolences are with the family, with your friend's family. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened? Uh, we presume uh, uh, your friend's wife uh, lost her life, unfortunately, because she needed medical attention, but uh, she could not have uh, been given that because of the floods there. Please share with us. Actually, she is a sugar patient and uh, from past two, three years, uh, she's in uh, dialysis. And she has to do alternative dialysis, you know, uh, on that day, there was a big cyclone in Chennai. So with uh, Monday, she was supposed to take dialysis, but unfortunately there was so much of water. We tried our uh, level best to get some boats, but from uh, morning, uh, we could not get any boat because there was only uh, two or three boats uh, from the NDRF. So we requested them, please uh, give us the boat. We have a patient, but they were also uh, taking other people outside. You know, they were rescuing other people. Uh, meanwhile, the one boat got damaged because there was uh, some uh, something on under the water because you cannot see what is there in the you know under the water. And uh, only they were operating one boat, which was very difficult uh, to rescue many people. There were like. Uh, Five ten thousand people to rescue, but it was a very difficult for them. Then we tried to find a truck, but the truck driver refused to go inside. He said, "There's a lot of water; you cannot go because the truck is also have some limit, uh, you know, to go inside." Then afterwards, we went to the police and uh, requested them for a boat, and they were also happy, helpless because there was only one boat. See, in one boat, there was only actually they were asking. 20, 30 people were asking, you know, we want the boat there, standing there. And there was, in the same area, there was one more death from the other lady. So, uh, at the end, after fighting with the, this uh, NDRF and uh, requesting them, uh, the police, and they have provided us 430, the boat. Mm -hmm. but unfortunately, uh, we have lost her before because she could not after uh, not getting the dialysis, she could not breathe. No, and it's right. The pulse was going down. So she lost her life. Then we went no. inside the house and uh, we took her body near about uh, 6 o'clock, 5.45. We took her out. Uh, then we could not do anything. And then there was a big problem with the ambulance. We tried to get the ambulance, but uh, waiting for one hour, two hour, but nobody was coming. Mm -hmm. Then we have taken her body in our own car to the graveyard. Right, right. So it was a very bad situation. And exp uh, actually telling that uh, the Tamil Nadu government was not expecting so much of rain. 
Hmm. It was too much rain. It was more than a flood, I can say. Right. You know, uh, you, you are, the family was in which part of Chennai? Chennai being the Pal capital of the Pal Palakarni, South, Kash uh, South Chennai. Palakarni, South yeah. Chennai. Otherwise, uh, have you seen that in your long stay in uh, Chennai? Have you seen this kind of in situation my, before? In my seven years in uh, living in Chennai, it is the first time I have seen a, such a big rain. It's the first yeah. time. Right. Uh, Parviz Bhai, unfortunate as it is, the loss of any life, more than a dozen lives were lost in this unfortunate uh, rain and flood in Chennai that came because of that cyclone. From the family's side, not pointing any finger, do you think is there a need to fix accountability when it comes to saving lives, the responsibility of the state government or for that matter, NDRF? Uh, you know, it's a national body uh, which goes to rescue people in calamities. Anything that uh, you would want to send the message across? No, actually, they have put more boats there. It is not, uh, you see, when she, you see the flood is too much, uh, it is your responsibility. You are already uh, department. You know what is happening when there is a flood. Mm -hmm. you rescuing see i am a local person i don't know what what ndr will do but they have a, this training they should mm -hmm. have kept at least five to six boats at mm -hmm. least they have kept five to six boats there so once they have two mm -hmm. boats one boat was immediately uh you know they got punctured because of something uh, stuck on down right right our boat also got stuck then we got down and we saw it was the barracks it was mm -hmm. barricade there, it was barricade, then we removed the barricade and then we went inside. Right, right. And there were lot of scooters down under the water which was hitting the boat. Mm -hmm. Yes, there must be, uh, you know, maybe stones or boulders or... Uh, no, there was scooters that was lying on the, down to the water, they, they were running on the water. So mm -hmm. they were also hitting the boat down. Many right. times you have to get down from the boat and to remove that things. What is the situation now? This happened uh, on the very first day of the floods or uh, after two, three days? Next day of the cyclone. Next day of the cyclone. And we had a big problem with the network. We could not, uh, because there was no network. To contact any other person, there was no network. So, uh, you know, as I am speechless, so would be the viewers. And our heart and prayer goes out for you and your friend's family. But this very feeling of not being connected, not getting medical support, not getting rescue boat and not getting an ambulance in the capital city, which is one of the biggest metropolitan cities in the country. Do you believe that uh, there is more to it than what needs to be done as far as tackling calamities is concerned? Actually, government should have kept it, the ambulances ready not to uh, call them they should be they know there is a flood they should be already there the ambulance mm -hmm. should be already there if the person will rescue a body or a, a patient from the water area but mm -hmm. there should be standing ambulance mm -hmm. if you reach on the on the area where there is a road but there is no ambulance is no use you're mm -hmm. only going to save that when there is no ambulance who is going to take care who is going to take the body from there or a patient from there Parvis Bhai, were you uh, the residents of that area, Palakarni area uh, yeah. in south of uh, Chennai, yeah. were they asked to evacuate also to some safer places? Or no, really, as, just... as I told you earlier, there was not uh, no information that there will be so much of water. Right. So right. everybody was not expecting. So they were all uh, taking it easy. So even though the people also took easy, but they were not expecting such a big rain. It is surprising, uh, Parvez Bhai. I mean, uh, politics apart, we don't get into that. We are more concerned about uh, the lives and the safety of the people, as anyone should be. But Tamil Nadu, especially Chennai, uh, in the last two years, has uh, had the similar experiences. And the whole city was drowning and the concept of smart city had fallen flat. So in the first year, uh, of uh, calamity 2022, I believe, uh, the government there, DMK government said that they have just come into power. They don't have the wherewithal to fix all these things, but they are trying. 
But again, this unfortunate thing happens. One final question, Pavej, from you. There is a state called uh, Odisha, which also faces a lot of cyclones, and they have uh, big. They know how to react. So this time around, it looks like, as you are mentioning, that uh, uh, the state was also not prepared, not expecting uh, such kind of rain. I think there is a lot to learn from Odisha then. Yes, uh, really. The, they, they should have... Uh, now they have done a lot of... Actually, they have made a beautiful roads, other things, but they should work on this uh, flood situation also. Hmm. You know, also, they should work on it. But they have done a good job. They have made a beautiful roads, other things. They are doing smart city. It's beautiful now. But this is the thing they have to take care of, really. They should take care of this uh, flood situation or uh, earthquake situation. They should, uh, you know, learn from the Oresa or any other places where they th this has happened before. Mm -hmm. And take care of this. Parvez, my final question. Please tell us something about your friend. How is he holding up as of now? How about the family? How are they planning to carry forward? Actually, they are living, uh, now staying in the cousin's house, in the, one of uh, his wife's cousin. They are living there because the water is a little bit there also. Mm -hmm. They cannot go home there because yesterday they tried to went again there to bring, they have some pets and the house. They uh, rented a, a private boat and gone to get the pets out. So mm -hmm. now they can go only after 10-15 days there because the water level is uh, slowly getting down. and. Uh, Tamil Nadu government is now uh, doing a lot of, uh, you know, quick. They want to clear up the mess, what is happening in the, this. Uh, mm -hmm. So they are trying to, very fast, they have hired a lot of, uh, in, even in the city has been already clear. But it is mm -hmm. down south where there is a lot of water, so they are just cleaning up. Right. So the colleges were uh, off uh, till yesterday, but I think tomorrow college will be open. Mm -hmm. The exams also in the yeah. in colleges yeah now they are, they, are, hmm. you know, they are removing the trees which has been fallen you know there was actually a metro work is going also on so that also they are uh, clearing up the roads right take, i think it will take 10-15 uh, days more to get it uh, in the level you know we will get back uh, you know mm -hmm. the situation will be all right Parvizbhai, thank you so much for speaking to us and uh, our thoughts and prayers are there with you, with your friends, family and with all the people of uh, residents of Chennai and Tamil Nadu in these trying times. So, uh, all we can say is we are very sorry for your loss, but may God uh, grant uh, your friend and you the strength to bear this uh, loss. In the meantime, it's a clear message to any state government, not just MK Stalin's government, that it's better to be prepared when uh, natural calamities strike Riga, a lot of things he has done to the city to the outskirts he has made beautiful roads but this is unfortunate but for the flood it was not prepared it was not prepared we understand the scenario thank you so much uh, parvezji for thank speaking you. to one india news thank you very much subscribe to one india channel and never miss an update